employment rises by two and a half million. I'm reading that right. Payrolls rose by two and a half million. The unemployment rate declined to 13.3 percent. This is a huge gain, uh, a huge upside beat on, uh, for this jobs report. Improvements in the labor market reflected a limited resumption of economic activity, the BLS says, that had been curtailed in March and April due to the coronavirus pandemic and efforts to contain it. In May, employment rose sharply in leisure and hospitality, construction, education and health services, and retail trade. By contrast, employment in government continued to decline sharply. Let me see if I can give you some of the details here. Unemployment rate declining by 1.4 percent to 13.3. The number of unemployed persons fell 2.1 million to 21. I guess they had an upward revision uh, reflecting the uh, uh, past uh, coronavirus effects. Okay, major work groups here. Unemployment declined in May for adult men, 11.6 percent, women, 13.9, whites, 12.4, and blacks, 29. I'm going to go now to the sector the industry sector here, Joe, just got to get down to the so-called B1 tables in just a second, and I'll be able to tell you where the job gains were here more specifically. Okay, so looking at it, we lost um, 19, oh, let me just check this out here. Mining lost 20,000 uh, 20, jobs. That's a big one here. Gains of, let's see, where are the big gains here? 104,000 in construction of buildings. Diana Olick has been busy. Specialty trade contactors up 325. Uh, not seeing here non-durable goods. I get down to the service sector. The service sector here rose by 2.4 million. And those big job gains came, uh, it looks like, in retail trade. Yep. Right. 367,000. This is uh, really curious here, guys. Yeah, 